Nayib Bukele, president of El Salvador, has strongly criticized policies that permit theft and drug distribution. And there's a lot of people that they just being fed these ideo ideologies and they think they're doing the right thing. Yes. Right? Like allowing, sh allowing shoplifting, for example. Yes. That's the most stupid thing you can think of. But they do it. Oh, you don't allow shoplifting here? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, of course not. So but you would think, how, why would anybody think allowing shoplifting would be a good idea? I don't know. Why? why? I mean, that's, that's the stupidest thing to think, right? Or giving away drugs. I said this. Uh, yes. Maybe. Or giving away drugs. Let's give away drugs. Right? It's, like, it's like very stupid things. And you would, you would guess that some of the people doing, in, I mean, enacting these policies are not necessarily evil. They're just, you know, they've been fed this ideology. They think they're doing the right thing. It's like, I'll give you an example. Uh, I think a month ago or something like that, yeah, like a month, uh, the Spanish police arrested a gang member that, that, has fled, that had fled El Salvador. So the gang member escaped. He, 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 flew, he flew. He went to Spain. And with an international operation between the police, of, of our police and the Spanish police and Inter Interpol, they were able to arrest the guy. So in, that, in those cases, you, don't need, you need to do an extradition because it's, it's an automatic you know, international operation. So they just get the guy, you know, process him and send him, yes. send him to the original police for the file of the claim. So the Spanish police was very proud of the, of the arrest. So they put, it up in, they put it up in Twitter. They said, we just arrested this gangman. So I, I, uh, you know, quoted the tweet, and I said, great, send them, we'll take care of him, right? So that was used in his court hearing in Spain as a proof that he wouldn't get a fair trial here. So he was protected by Spanish laws, and he stayed there in Spain. While I agree with Bukile that these policies are impractical and harmful, it's crucial to emphasize the need for law and order to maintain a stable and safe society. I support Buchel's stance on prioritizing law enforcement and the necessity for strong and effective governance to prevent chaos and protect citizens. Buchel's comments highlight the importance of authenticity and individual responsibility in making sensible and practical decisions. His critique can be seen as a condemnation of an ideology with good intentions but irrational and damaging consequences. Bukele's call for realistic and practical policies that prioritize individual peace and safety is a testament to true leadership and deserves high appreciation. Generous policies that allow theft and drug distribution erode the collective spirit and trust in social order and public institutions. These ideology-centered policies must be evaluated based on their psychological impact and the dissonance they create with real life. The long-term effects on personal safety, moral values, and trust in governance are significant and cannot be ignored. 